Welcome to we're literally Freaks Fort Worth. <laughs> but welcome to Odyssey, because it's Saturday. They tell the same story, but that story never gets old. It's like that one movie that you watched as a kid like five million times. Please, Dad, that one bedtime story again. He's like, I have told you this five-page story 50 times. <laughs> literally. All right. So... It's exactly what you'd expect from both of these players. It's Wolf on Rob, instinct versus ingenuity. Who will take the cake? Right now, AZ's in the advantage. He's on winner's side. Atomic will have to beat him twice in order to get this tournament under his belt. Let's do the Odyssey. 98, baby. Who will take it? Which of you is the nine that ate the seven? We're going to find out. 48 already. 58. AZ is playing so confident right now. Jesus! Were you warming up or something off, off set? Normally the advantage of the person coming out of losers is that they have momentum. But AZ right now, he's swinging. Swinging like a wrecking ball. Okay, right there. The reflector was well placed for Gyro, but not well placed for that follow-up neutral air. Atomic saw something coming. Oh yeah, not too quick on that down air follow-up. He expected an upbeat once again. I think that's where AZ is getting most of his recovery, but once he adapts, we're gonna be seeing a much different story being told at ledge. Ugh. All right. Perfect answer to Gyro yet again, 133. Right now, Atomic's already closed the gap. And as far as we're concerned, Rob is going to be dying later than Wolf will be at this percent. Oh, and a nice reflect. Yes. Atomic knows he can't get away with that. Oh, and the up mix-up that time. He already was mixing up. He's mixing up in advance. But what difference does it make if he reads your roll? I love the double jab on Shield to bait the gyro just to get him off stage once again. He's making him spend as much gas as possible. He's already in the yellow range and he just up tilts the living hell out of him. Give him the Daisy Duke. At this rate, we're going even higher up the rung of the social ladder. He's not a Duke no more. He is a Lord. And Lord have mercy. <laughs> None to spare, please. Oh, okay. Back to ledge. This is Atomic's bread and butter, and he eats it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But not today. The wolf eats it raw. Ooh! And he eats that pretty raw, too. Oh, dearie me. But he lives. Goes for the upbeat follow-up. Still mixing up Atomic. I still have no idea what recovery path he's going to take. And that's the beauty of it. That's the only advantage Wolf has, is that you don't know which one. It's going to be a B-move or an air dodge. One of those three. Ooh, and the, oh my goodness, and another immaculately placed backer to answer that nair. In the worst possible case, you trade with it, and it's much more beneficial for the back air than the neutral air there. All right. Look at that. The immaculate, he just has such a read on Atomic's kill options at the ledge. We saw so many other people fall to that tonight. Just like that roll get a read, that up smash on your get up option, no matter what it is, he places it perfectly, but AZ responded to it perfectly by... Getting up just a frame or two earlier than Atomic expected, and therefore having enough time to shield. It's insane. These two have fought so many times, and you could see it. You could see it in the gameplay. All right, this is a... Oh, my God, bro. No way you're going to follow up. <gasps> calm down. Okay. <laughs> don't calm that. No, don't, don't, okay, now that, not that much. Please. Get back to hot. We need... Okay, turn that heat up again. But not like... We're not talking jet fuel. That was an almost beautiful follow-up. It probably wouldn't have killed, but it would have been stylish... Okay. So as far as we're concerned, this is an even game. We all know what happens when you are against Rob and you're at like sub 50. Okay, time of mixing up everything to get back to ledge, but even at the ledge, it's still a disadvantageous position. You're just kind of slightly improving your circumstances as much as possible. And that reflect again, you're not getting away with that. <laughs> Again, these gyro anticipations. He's got such a read. Because, like, Rob can only do it in so many places. And he actually manages to get out, but f he gets hit with the same thing regardless. It would have been probably an up smash ordinarily, but when he fell out, Atomic just anticipated that he would run right back in to try and get that follow-up because he thought that Atomic would have uh, stuttered a little bit, like most Rob players would if their setup didn't work out. But Atomic was ready for that. That's what happens when you have that much experience under your belt. Somebody DIs a certain way, he sees that situation once, he will remember it forever. 
and come up with a counter option. AZ had most of that game under his, like, in his control, but Atomic sealed the deal with experience. It's already starting off to be a bit of Atomic's game. But all we need is one good wolf combo. Oh, yeah. He had no choice. If he recovered any later, he would have died. And so he dies anyway. It's death or death. Choose your door. How will you die? That's your choice. All right, going with the lasers. Transcendent though it be, it still beats Gyro. Meets it in the middle somehow. All right, 87. We're gonna need a lot more than that to kill Rob, but uh, AZ is on the way. Oh, and that back here almost does it. You see the lightning, but you also see Atomic's immaculate DI. Shifts ownership of the Gyro to himself to make sure that threat is not even a factor. No more variables to worry about here. Oh no! Oh, that was so. Oh, that was almost so ugly. But it's still not. It's still pretty homely looking, if you ask me. And that. Oh, he just knows his frame data so well. He has enough time to spot dodge that even after that. Oof. He had something. Got, he had startup of something there. Oh wow, this movement is insane. Going for the. Hey, he went for every kill option possible there. Atomic barely scraping by. Oh, and it, she, either shield poked or he dropped shield, couldn't tell. Oh, and the recovering up air, that was so intelligent. All right, all right, all right. 105. Many, many things will kill at this point, including, but not limited to, up tilt. And I know that's AZ's favorite kill option at these percents. It's the safest. Oh, but he can get his humble neutral air with no tech on stage. Burn some of that gas, get that neutral air again. And what's the follow-up now? He gets too eager and falls right into Atomic's clutches. It's the same thing that happened last game. But he gets that dash attack at last. A little later than he'd like, but it's something. It's a start. But it could be the end. <laughs> You've heard of start GG. You know how that ended. <laughs> Just today. Give it a moment's time. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a lot of shield pressure and a lot of shield damage off two exchanges. Okay, covering the landing yet again. Underneath the platform for safety. Kent neutral air on the way down if he has you under the platform. Okay. That, that DI was sus. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. He does. He does. He picked it up. Goes for that. Covers options. Gets him right back to ledge. Oh, but that up smash was just barely off put. Oh, goes for the uh, upbeat to ledge. Not going to go straight at him. That'd be exactly what he wants. And unfortunately, that wolf slash was... Placed us barely too short. Luckily, though, AZ has plenty of time to get used to this new pace. Game three. And it could be the first of the next three games before this set is even over, depending on how well, how well AZ adapts. And then after that, there's a whole other set to play with. Atomic got mad momentum right now. Those arms are swinging at terminal velocity. But there's no friction in space. So with AZ, when he gets momentum, it don't stop. Not for anything. Not nothing but an equal and opposite force. And if anybody can give that to him, it's probably going to be Atomic, but it remains to be seen. Oh, with the double gyro follow-up. Yep, the Rob classic. Leave it to Atomic. Okay. Oh, almost meets the Gyro there. Falls off, but he's off the stage and off the ledge just in time. He knows Gyro. If anybody's going to know Gyro, it's somebody that fights Rob as often as AZ. Whoa, he just did the, just a stall. That was so well placed, and he got the lead back. Just in one really well placed flow chart. Oh my gosh. Woo! That was such a good delay. He's delaying with both the flash, or both the shine and the upbeat, just to avoid options now. It's like giving Austin back in the days when he would use Magnet to avoid things like that. Because you're just anticipating, you're anticipating this, they're going to keep falling at the same speed. But they don't have to. Not when you're a kit as flexible as Wolf's. Oh, he really went for the neutral get-up dash attack. That was a really good option. But he was ready for it and ready for anything. Ran the algorithm and said, this is your only three options and I'm covering all of them. All right, we're covering high as expected. But Wolf can make it up there pretty darn quick. Break through the stratosphere and break your stock in half. Oh, but yeah. He knows that AZ likes to land right next to him before he follows up with a grounded option, but if you follow up with a grounded option, let me tell you about Rob's best grounded option. That is down tilt. 
Followed by all of that, all the way into a stock off of one down tilt, just because he anticipated AZ's landing into a grab, maybe, a tomahawk or something. How can you anticipate that? And even then, what good will it do you? Ooh, on the landing here, gets the up air. This is the exact same story as last round. He needed that stock a lot sooner if he wanted to have the best possible chances, but with some immaculate gameplay, we can still see it or not. <laughs> Jet fuel melts stocks like it melts steel beams. Or wait a minute. Wow, okay, so Atomic is looking fresh to death right now. And AZ is just dead. <laughs> He's going to need to be playing as hot as his name. Peak summer in Arizona at high noon. We need that kind of gameplay coming out of AZ to get this second set underway. But for all we know, he could be playing that big old wild card right now and be saving the best game plan for the second set. Download as much as he can and then unleash everything he's learned in set two. That's how you play grand finals if you're trying to be a champion. All right, laying on some shield pressure, but Atomic knows how to respond, and that's with a frame three item throw. All right, off stage, off stage. It's worse, he's expended his jump. Gets another grab, gets him off stage yet again, but he mixes him up, gets his way back, grabs him again, my God! How do you grab this much with no thumbs? Pure strength. Okay. Anticipate something. He was probably waiting for, like, a neutral air, but he used the back air to get more space between them. Very intelligent. If he sees you waiting in shield, there's no reason to bother with anything else. And that time, Atomic was anticipating the instant side B, but that time AZ got him with the up B mix-up. How do you know to adapt in advance? Honestly, I'm shocked. Like, to see AZ making it back this often against one of the best edge guarders in Dallas. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yep. Try to go for the dash attack there. Wanted to grab the gyro along with it, but the timing was just a bit off. for one reason or another. Ooh, that could have been everything. He was like trying to land up smash, but in response, Atomic is once again anticipating that landing and then grounded option with his own grounded option. He has very fast grounded options to anticipate and beat it out. He's done it twice now, once with downtown and once with up smash, crazy stuff. AZ's gonna have to adapt to that, maybe shield on the way down or something, to shield the counter option and then respond out of shield, but it's scary to do that, especially if it means missing an opportunity that would have otherwise been there, but he didn't miss that opportunity. Okay, avoids that forward air. And manages to drift inwards enough because with Wolf's airspeed, it's a possibility to get out of Rob's way. Okay, gets that forwardy. Okay, okay, okay. Back to neutral. Ooh, gets that laser. He got it so well that like it literally clipped it like a PNG. Oh, and the DI was less than immaculate, that's for certain. I think we possibly could have lived that. But it's a much closer game already. All he needs is to clean up his stock and it'll be even. A much better story than the last two. Ooh, tried to get that landing grab, but uh, did not manage to get to the platform. But luckily for him, grabbing leg is not severe enough that Atomic will be able to follow up on reaction. Okay, the gyro follow-up, but actually manages to drop it. It's difficult in these situations against somebody like AZ. All right, this is Atomic's favorite place to be, but now it's his least favorite place to be, aside from offstage. Oh, jeez. All right. Whoa, I love that mix-up. Just delay the landing, expend your jump, make him think you're going to have to land into that gyro, and then delay that forward-facing option with up B, baby. Mix-ups upon mix-ups upon mix-ups. Landing mix-ups, recovery mix-ups. AZ's mixing. This is the human blender right now. You think it'd be Rob, but he's not human. And he was actually out of gas. AZ starved him. He inflated that gas up to astronomical prices. And he said rocket fuel is much cheaper. Space travel is where it's at. Okay. I love that he was ready. Atomic was meant to face that gyro towards AZ. And AZ meant to reflect it back. But uh, that was just an awkward exchange. <laughs> it's like, oh, excuse me. Let it rip, but that way. Okay. It could be AZ's win right now, but it all depends on this next follow-up. He needs to get as much damage as possible off of the next neutral interaction. All right, cover that landing. 
play it super safe. Oh, but he got down tilted into down smash and for once it kills. And as usual, AZ says, run it right the heck back. Thank you. Takes a deep breath. That's what it should, that's what it's all about. Nods his head. He understands exactly what went wrong. If you see somebody shake their head, it's already over. You see him nod their head, you don't know. <laughs> At that point, you're like, oh, he gets it. Four. Like what, down tilt? Oh, what? You're right. That's the fourth win, according to Birdman, over here on the mainstream commentary. Maybe AZ's taking a little bathroom break. He says, I need a moment. No, he takes the coat off. He takes his flannel shirt clean off, lets the guns out. Oh, my God, he's been in the gym. I'm serious. That dude was a twig when I first met him. <laughs> Look at those guns. Those are illegal even in Texas. Ah, who am I kidding? <laughs> Brings out the gun, knocks back the bull. He's a Texan now. True and blue. Yeehaw! Welcome to... Well, bye, New Mexico. Welcome to New Texas. Under new ownership. The one who wants to own it is AZ. He's making his way up the PR, and he wants to make his way up to Grand Finals first place victory over Atomic right now. Took him plenty of time to anticipate this. He knows where he's going. He just doesn't know what the game plan is. Max out that timer. Ruin that momentum. It's what it takes. He wants the most neutral start possible, because if AZ gets a good start, it doesn't stop. <laughs> he's that kind of player. All right, everybody's feet collectively are on the gas pedal. Question is, who's got the fuller tank? Ooh, he anticipated the living hell out of that spot dodge. He landed with the latest forward air I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, that back air was so good, but again, it's Rob. Many lesser characters would have died to that, but not this guy, especially with DI as immaculately employed as Atomics. Oh, he, re he tries to read that. Oh my god, he actually followed up anyway. He didn't die at 130? <laughs> Rob is so heavy. See, this is the issue. AZ can't let that get to him, and he doesn't. He doesn't let it get to him. He's allowed to take the next kill option. The kill is never owed to you. If it happens or doesn't happen, you have to be ready for both. For whatever reason. It could be a sour spot. It could be a heavy character. It could be a weak up smash. Okay, back off stage. Tama trying to even this out right the heck now. He does not want to take any percent. Keeps AZ at the ledge. Oh, but not for long. AZ reclaims center stage, finds his way back into neutral, but only to meet with Gyro once again. You don't play neutral with Rob. You play it with Gyro. Oh, I love that neutral. And I love the weight. Yes, the weight. He's adapted. That's what we were talking about before. When it comes to um, Atomic anticipating you landing and then going for a grounded option, whether it be a grab, an up smash, whatever, and AZ instead opts to simply shield and hold that shield even longer. And got a good follow-up off of it. However, Atomic still manages to seal that stock and even that out. But these percents are telling a different story thus far. Cannot get over Cynthia's theme. Obsessed with that in Grand Finals. <laughs> this is the stage for it. Oh my god, yeah. It's, it's giving Garchomp. You know who else has crazy sparkling incisors ready to chomp you like prey? Oh my god, goes for the up B. That was the best possible option. A side B killed you there. Nice shooting, Tex. <laughs> All right, give it a moment. Okay, Atomic's going to go for that up air. Is that DI good? Yes, it's perfect. Perfect this time. He adapted, but you can't adapt to Arm Rotor. <laughs> you simply can't. There's just no living that. Once you're in it, you're out. All right. And like that, Atomic takes the lead back as quickly as AZ got it. And right, he almost spikes him, but it, oh my god, Atomic is ready to actually tech that. I didn't even know who spiked who until I saw the animations. And AZ continuing to lay on this pressure. Oh my god. Oh, the double. We love that it's two hits. But only point blank. For once, they made a gun better close range. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So this is a very pivotal moment. If he doesn't make it back with a good mix up here, he just neutral air die. He just neutral airs on the way down for once in his life. That thing that Atomic's been trying to shield for the entire three sets they've played today. AZ said, now's the time. And I'll follow the heck up. You know I will. If he gets a neutral air on you, weak or strong, he is wolf flashing you. And your life will wolf flash before your eyes. In Puss in Boots, wolf is death. 
And in Smash Brothers, it's the same thing. <laughs> Muy bueno, Mr. Loco, Mr. Lobo. <laughs> Game three, here in great grand finals, true finals, some call it, most call it. 37.5%, immediately 46.52, but met with 15 at last. These down tilts on shield, literally. <laughs> He's like, hey, your shoes are untied. I don't have thumbs, I can't help you. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> What are those? And what is that hitbox? That gyro was so well placed, it was like a Robin Elfire. Oh my god, and that up smash was so well placed. Despite AZ's immaculate DI, it just wasn't enough. All right, following up off of this throw combo, gets that neutral air on the way up, and Atomic on the way down. Reflects that gyro, and manages to get off the ground before it even looks like he's touched it. Twinkle Toes, pirouetting in and out of the threat range of Atomic right now. Okay, that neutral air was obvious, obvious, because it's Rob, and if he doesn't have Gyro, it's gonna be a neutral air on the way down. It's just expected, and it makes sense. Not a bad option, no matter how predictable it is. Oh, he actually did the two down tilts on beat there. He went, ba -da -da. <laughs> He's playing the piano with no fingers. That's how you know it's real. <laughs> Gyro not in hand for either player right now. He goes for the up smash. It would have been a good option. He was still safe if Atomic was on the way out, so well placed regardless. All right, get that forward tilt out of the parry. Excellent. Place yourself, maintain stage control. It's just, it's fundamental, people. Oh, goes for that up smash, but it wouldn't have hit anyway. Oh, and that it's so active, especially if you get it extended off of Gyro. That's gonna be a back throw. Will it kill? Yes, indeed! 165, a humble percent for Rob. Now it comes down to whether or not AZ can get that big damage starting off from this first neutral interaction. Can he get that first hit? Or will Atomic simply grab and or up smash and or whatever the heck else to him? Up smash, indeed. <laughs> All right. Game three is pivotal. There is no counter pick advantage, but there is momentous momentum happening to the whatever side wins this game. And so it's going to be Atomics. That was an atomic bomb of a game. He exploded. Adam Smashing. Welcome to Smash Brothers Adam Smashing Ultimate. Okay. Is that a Reverie TIC? Reverie hoodie on Atomics' chest right now? Wait a minute. Cool shirt. <laughs> All right. Comes out of game four. AZ playing on the back beat right now because Rob is playing piano with no fingers and AZ is trying to be the accompaniment. Indeed. Nice hoodie, bro. Hashtag vote for Skelly. I don't know who else is in the running, but if there's any other BFW peeps out there and you are tuned into Tourney Locator tonight, you know where to go. Maybe. Google it. <laughs> Texas Reverie, people. Everybody here is worthy. AZ versus Atomic, game four. We'd love to see a game five here in Great Grand Finals, but it all comes down to whether or not AZ can pull it back, because right now, Atomic's momentum is at a terminal velocity, so AZ's gonna need to be that immovable object to stand even a ghost of a chance, or he will be the ghost in due time. Oof, I love how he just jumped over that laser, didn't reflect it that time. It would've put him in a compromising position if Atomic landed that closely to him. Okay, forward air into down tilt. Yep, yep, yep. That's just Rob frame data in a nutshell. Gets that neutral air, but AZ maintained his position underneath the platform. He knew it wouldn't reach if he didn't land on that platform. So he had no option to hit him, basically. Ooh, gets that back air. 127, AZ looking good. Ah, oh, but that could have been curtains for certain, but that up smash is so darn safe. It doesn't hurt to let it rip at a safe distance every now and then, just to make sure. Okay, hold shield on that gyro, up smashes and gets the very tip, no scoop needed. I will have just the cone, please. Okay, gets a spot dodge in place, the audacity, honestly, because if you teched in, we know Atomic would have followed up. That's reactable. Ooh, so is that dash attack on shield, and so is that landing. However, AZ's DI, he's reacting just the same. Okay, 
Oh, gets that laser before the gyro even makes it out of Rob's hands and therefore knocks it right out of it. 57, 72, AZ's looking hot! Hot as plasma coming out of a laser gun right now. Okay, okay, it's gonna be a grab any moment now, but... Oh, of course, of course Atomic was prepared for AZ to be prepared for that grab. So we just continued the shield pressure and instead seals the stock in a more fisticuffs fashion. Sometimes, if the grab looks obvious, you don't want it anymore. Because <laughs> if it looks obvious to you, it looks twice as obvious to the opponent all of a sudden. Okay. AZ maintaining... Uh, he's just, like, dancing all over the place right now. His positioning is so difficult to read. Gets that parry. Goes for the up B, of all things. If it was anything but shield after Atomic landed, it would have connected. And it still does. In due time. Okay, gets that up tilt on the way down. Now Atomic's in control of the ground. Really in control. Oh, goes for that up smash. I really like it, but he just held shield this time because he's adapted to your adaptation. Gets the wolf flash, but it does not send him into the ground. It sends him horizontal and therefore does not kill him. 152, an up tilt should do the trick now. Oh, but so will a back air from Rob, and suddenly the game is a different tale than been told thus far. That ain't Little Red Riding Hood, but that wolf is meeting his end just the same. Whoa, okay. It was a really smart up smash, but regrettably his air drift was just too far right. Oh, and he goes for that up smash yet again, but gets down tilt. It's stuffed right out. 65, any more percent than this, it's gonna be a very difficult climb after that second stock. But he gets that up tilt. Beautiful, immaculate reaction to that roll. Ooh, those pants can only stretch so much, it's gonna be a hole in them by the end of this set. All right, gets that follow-up, gets that follow-up to that follow-up. Can he get that landing is the question. That platform maintains stage control. Beautiful positioning. Ooh. Down tilt, down on shield. He says, I'm not dealing with any more than two of those, thank you. I will not be grabbed today. Not again. AZ's been grabbed a startlingly few amount of times in this set, given that it's Rob and it's Atomic, and that's how he usually gets his kills. Atomic's had to come up with a lot of crafty solutions with reads, adaptations, and option coverage just to get kills without grabs. Usually it's arm rotor, <laughs> but regardless. Okay, 111. If he gets grabbed right now, it's over. That's that's all it comes down to. And right now, he has so little shield that he doesn't even need to worry, need to think about that. If I can't shield, I won't get grabbed. Oh, tech it away, and he read everything. All right, it all comes down to this jump. Can you expand it, can you mix up? He made it back to ledge, but it's still not over. He gets stage control back. This is the best possible case for AZ right now. He has stage control. Oh, dear God. Oh, that gyro is placed so well. What do you do? How do you respond? He actually rolled. He found his way. Atomic did not respond in time. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. It comes down to this. Who's going to have the kill option? It's coming down to these percents where it's either up smash or up smash. But who's? <gasps> Gets that parry. Goes for the back air. Goes for the up smash. And suddenly, oh, Atomic isn't responding quite quick enough, but he doesn't want to risk it. If he actually takes a commitment and misses it, he'll just give up this game. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he dashes hat and a back throw. That'll be enough? Not quite. The laser. Ah, 182? Whoa, he actually missed the follow-up because who expected an uppy to the stage there? All right, gets the down throw. I cannot believe AZ is still alive right now. One up air might steal it. Max Rage Wolf up air on Rob landing. The up tilt might too. I'm so, my heart's beating out of my chest right now. How much Red Bull do you have to have in you? Oh my god. Oh, the new Troy almost takes it horizontally, but he DI's even that? And I don't think that was even necessary at that point, but you know, he still takes it with a down air follow up. Excellently played from Atomic and a well played tournament finish for our champion today. The Atomic Bomb. Wow. Explosive finish. You figured it would be something kind of uneventful, right? Like a neutral air, an up tilt up air, anything. Anything of Rob's would have killed at that point. A forward air might. <laughs> But regardless, that concludes Odyssey number 98, 97, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Congrats to our first place winner, Atomic, and our follow-up, AZ, who played out of his mind and with wings to spare. Thanks, Red Bull. And thank you, Tourney Locator. Keep it locked. Texas Reverie, hashtag Overskelly, nice hoodie, nice gameplay. We'll be seeing you next week, next Saturday. That'll be 99. And then you know what comes after that, the anniversary. We'll be seeing you then.